It's cooking time with Harry Lamb. Hello, today I will be teaching you how to make waffles using an iron. First, you must have an iron and two frozen waffles. First off, just prep the board a few times, place the waffles straight on the board, start ironing in back and forth patterns. Now you notice the waffle should start to lose all the ice and it's become soggy. You'll have a soggy waffle for a little bit. You just move back and forth and you can stretch them all in. This is the part where you start hearing the baking and it starts getting a bit flat. Now the waffle will stay very soggy for a while. It's alright. Puff it a few times with steam and maybe spray it. And just keep going back and forth. And you'll see the steam rise off of it when you, uh, when you move it back and forth. And this is the good thing. This means it's cooking. Just spray it a couple more times. Go back and forth. You'll start to smell the waffle. You won't see it turn golden brown because it actually doesn't. But you wait until you can start smelling it, the pungent odor coming off the waffle while it is being cooked by the iron. If you're a mom or a wife, you will easily know how to do this. For kids, it is basically the same as ironing a shirt. Just back and forth, kind of knock out all the wrinkles of the waffle. And you'll start to notice it does turn a bit brown. And this means that you have started to cook it. Now that you're done with one, I like to do two. Just do the same thing over again. These are not Belgian waffles, unless you can find frozen Belgian waffles. These are just regular Eggo waffles. And it's, I find it much easier than a toaster. It's much quicker, and it cooks a lot flatter and faster. And you can notice it actually smells delicious over here. So yeah, just back and forth, and you can pump it with steam as much as you like. Keep rubbing back and forth, and you'll have steam start rising off of it. This is how you know that it's actually cooking. If it's not steaming, then you'll know, because the ice actually melts into water, and as the water gets absorbed by the waffle, it'll be heated by the iron and start releasing vapor. Instead of the usual timer on a toaster, the, re the way you'll know how this is cooking is if there's steam. The more steam, the faster it's cooking. And once it's gotten very hot, that's also an indication that you're done cooking. So if you just, uh, or you can just tell by smell. If you just, yeah, the smell of the waffle, once it starts becoming pungent and odoriferous, then you'll know that the waffle is done cooking. And all the steam can tell, same. You can notice it's rising off right now. And don't worry, that's not smoke. This waffle really won't burn. It's just, the more mist you pump into it, the slower it'll burn. It won't burn. It will just smoke, or steam. And basically your waffle is done once it is flat, producing an odor, and out, really hot. And basically right here, you have two waffles, and I like to do is add a bit of syrup on top of the waffles, put that, put that aside, grab a fork and knife, and remind me of pancakes. But these aren't pancakes, they're waffles, and you just... Away, they're nice and flat, and they're not too hard and not too crusty, and they're not burnt at all. They're nice and soggy. <coughs> bon appetit.